Okay, Toronto, you get to hear the first read of the new writing. Dear Anka, I am here listening deeply, moving slowly, preparing diligently, growing steadily, and learning. This host arrest feels very different, very different from the romanticized version of self-imposed isolation I longed for a few weeks ago. You know, they just announced that we're on lockdown immediately. And I find myself increasingly on the inside of these passing days. That flu that I caught out of nowhere two weeks ago, you know, I didn't think twice about it. Just ginger, garlic, turmeric, rest, repeat. And then yesterday, yesterday my right tonsil began to ache and I was immediately ranka, enveloped in the wretched arms of panic, panic panic. It's like reading, conceptualizing, dreaming. It all feels weighted now like my chest underwater. And I am telling myself it's all psychosomatic. All of it. There is nothing the matter with you. Nothing at all. I don't have a cough. I don't have a fever. I don't have breathing difficulties right now. This moment, this moment demands differently of my watery self, Franca. Every time I hear my housemate cough, huh? I freeze. I know you understand these positions and can appreciate my withdrawal and maybe are even similarly positioned or maybe not. But that being said, Ranka, I would love to see you, but I can't because I'm under house arrest. At least that's what it feels like. So last night, Last night, I dreamt of a black horse so big, I thought it was a bear, truly a bear, wearing a black crochet caparison, and its rider, a woman, was focused on looking over the field. So then she looked to the left of me, surveyed the land, then spun around on her bear, I mean on her horse, and then galloped away to the right of me and disappeared right into the forest. Right in front of my eyes, the dream was so vivid, Ranka. I was convinced it was real. I saw them disappear and I stood there in awe. I don't know what that have to do with no, but I've been in this tiny space for the last few days and we're running out of food, but I can't bring myself to go to the shops because I'm paralyzed with fear. I've chosen to spring clean instead. I cook lengthy meals. Do you know, I tried to do grocery shopping online, but the deliveries were booked up for six weeks from today. Did I tell you that out of nowhere I developed the flu two weeks ago? But it was only the flu. People are panic shopping and apparently there's not enough food in the stores for the elderly and the most vulnerable. At least that's what the news keeps telling us. I don't know for sure because I can't bring myself to go outside. When I did go last week, there was no hand sanitizer, no tissue paper, no antibacterial wipes. I feel the way I feel when I'm on the pin edge of decision making, except there's no decision to make. And all my engagement just disappeared into thin air, just like that. Just like that, I'm reminded, Ranka, that death also comes. Just like that. People are dying, Ranka. In the hundreds and thousands, like people are dying all over the world. And people always have died and always will, as long as there's people to die. I wonder how we'll make it through this. Thank you, Toronto.